Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Descendant X based on Android 10 for our Galaxy J7 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, let's take a look at the customizations and the UI stuff. Uh, first, we will take a look at the launcher, which is a launcher, launcher, and it's really nice and highly customizable launcher. If you are already using the launcher, then you can uh, like say it's really great launcher because a lot of people use it. Also, we have Google Home support, the home page support on the left, but I don't have the launch feed installed. So if you uh, have it installed, you will get the Google launcher or maybe I have to install the Google. Uh, okay, I have the Google app, but I don't have launch feed. So you need launch feed, which is a extra add on. You can just easily download it from the website. Then here we go uh, into uh, uh, not into here. We take a look at the volume panel. Uh, sorry, I have to use this thumb. And this is how the volume panel looks and timeout is really less. Oh, sorry for that. Oh, I have to use this right hand. Okay, so this is the volume panel after you expand it and timeout is really less. So I have to do it again and again, which is really annoying for me. Uh, just add an option, please. If you are from the Descendant X team, please add an option for that. You know, it. so yeah, that is how it looks. Then the quick settings, these are the quick settings and you will get notification over here about your calendar. Then here the date and clock and on the right side, you have the battery usage in the remaining battery text in text format and then the network icons will be visible here if you have a sim card the sim card icon will also be visible after you have a sim enabled and then uh, as you can see the settings ui looks clean but you have those suggestion uh, suggestion cards right here but you can easily hide them you cannot clear them but yeah you can hide them and here we have uh, this uh, uh, the battery ui you know that ui is tweaked and that's how it looks and some extra options the bed uh, descendant idle manager i don't know what it is but it is a soft software like like something it's not related to your hardware or device but yeah it may save a little bit more battery so you can enable that and as you can see the options you visit uh, it has those icons and the normal isp roms don't have any icons or some stuff over here then into sounds also you can see icons have been added right here for every of the options so you can like easily understand what it actually is for now guys there are not a lot of features in this rom but yeah there are some uh, built in to the default options so you have this thumb ui which will give you a one ui like feel so if you like one ui uh, and if you want to use aosp then you will get this one ui like feel but I don't actually like because it eats a lot of space. It should be a little bit short, but yeah, you know, one UI is like that. So yeah, and enable quick settings panel only. This is a quick settings uh, panel tweak, which will only enable the quick settings panel. And one more, uh, you can uh, just press that button here. There's a small button down below. And then you will get all the tiles also. Then you can just, you know, enable mobile data, turn off Wi-Fi and all that stuff. You can do right from here. So if you like that, you know, a tweak to quick settings panel and the notification bar then you can just surely enable that then in the theming section we have the dark theme accent color and the other stuff which is the normal body fonts and icon shapes then here we also have the display settings and you can change the dpi right here the smallest width option is available right into the display option then going back into sounds we have some options here we also have the live caption as the google apps are pre-built and all of the like major roms who ship google um, uh, google apps pre-built they have this live option live caption enabled then we also do have the you no know, sound and uh, other settings the volume control options right here then the volume interface extras uh, you can enable ex expand button in volume panel so uh, i don't know how that works or that is already enabled that button is so Okay, I think that was the button, a short button was there. Okay, this one. Okay, so you can quickly expand through here. You can add this button right uh, down. That's really nice. Then some more options we have uh, is the audio handling pause media. Uh, automatically pause media playing if media volume has been muted. So yeah, it will pause the media which is playing. So that's really a nice option if you are like playing and if you want to mute media immediately something, you know, have to go and it will pause the media too so which is really nice option and addition into this rom then into settings gestures we have this normal gestures into system navigation we have all type of gestures and we also have the full screen gestures but you know if you want to uh, use the uh, uh, this uh, hardware buttons you have to enable this or else you know it will 
and not hide this and also if you use uh, the default uh, is the three button navigation so you will have problems uh, using it so just enable gesture navigation and turn this on and now you can see you can utilize the full screen and also use the hardware buttons which is really nice and also in case if you want to you know just swipe back then you can use the software keys uh, the swipe back action too then here you also have the swipe to screenshot which works really nice so that's really nice uh now there are some uh, stuff which is broken so yeah my duty is to tell you that and you can then decide to work this rom or not so guys there are some bugs in this rom now the first is always on display the always on display does not work so it's right here inside the settings and maybe the ambient display also does not work uh into the lock screen display and here as you can see always on display is on and it does not work it's not the, like it's some um, the time is set there's no option to change that but it does not work at any time so yeah that's really weird and also uh, into screen lock which is a really major thing for me at least you know if you're using this as a uh, primary device then it is actually a major thing uh, you cannot set a screen lock any now i had it uh, set it to swipe first from the uh you know while setting up the device so you can try your luck while setting up the device you can set a pattern and see if it works and then you can try out face unlock and as you can see you get this message screen lock was already changed try with the default one something like that so i don't know what is that i tried to clear the lock settings file from the system data folder but it still does not work so yeah that is a bug and maybe i don't know if it will get fixed or not because uh, descendant is not even updating anymore if it's device side then you have to wait for the vendor update so yep that is it for the video a short review on this descendant x rom and this is a gsi so you can flash it with the edge vendor the installation uh installation video is oh sorry for that right here i'm not going to you know stretch the video to show installation in every video so yeah that's right here you can just uh, check the installation and if you guys have liked this video press the like button if not press the dislike button the subscribe button is right here please press it if you want to watch more videos about the j7 2016 and i'll be right back with another video like uh, there are not much of the new roms based on touch uh for this device so yeah if any rom comes out if any important stuff comes out then i will surely make videos on that and also if the vendor gets updated with a lot of fixes for the android 11 like in a month then surely this uh, phone will get a lot of more uh, rom reviews and surely i will review other roms too which have working stuff more than this one but yeah you can try if you like the ui and this is your secondary device then make sure to try out this rom it's really nice uh, about the ui and so that is it bye bye if you guys really like this video again i'm saying please press the like button if not the dislike button so bye bye and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye